Ferry Aviation's Great Western Aerodrome in April 1934. That airfield is now Heathrow Airport. Exit service. And I think it's fair to say this is a fairly archaic looking aircraft. Indeed, it was almost out of date before it entered service. However, it went on to have the most distinguished of service histories during the Second World War. Other aircraft were bring bag, as it was affectionately known, the Swordfish stayed in service throughout the war. Key to its success, as you can see, is largely this low speed handling capability, which also gives it this incredible manoeuvrability. for any period of time. During the Second World War, the swordfish accounted for the sinking of over 300,000 tons of enemy shipping, more than any other Allied air operation. On the 11th of November 1940, swordfish from the carriers HMS Eagle and Illustrious sank and damaged most of the Italian naval fleet, Taranto Harbour. The fleet air arm to this very day still celebrate Taranto Night. And in May 1941, swordfish attacked the German battleship Bismarck achieving two hits with torpedoes, one of which damaged Usually, the aircraft had a crew of three, but it's only the pilot that has a seat, the other two having to stand, the wireless operator and the rear gunner having to stand in the rear of the cockpit. by the Fairy Aircraft Company. Many were built by Blackburn, often nicknamed Blackfish as a consequence. Sadly, a lot of the service history of this aircraft was lost. Certainly known that in March 1944, suffered a crash landing and the aircraft was nearly written off. But fortunately, it was repaired Here we have the white door. Please wave back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Swordfish currently in the markings of an aircraft, number 820 Naval Air Squadron, the squadron that actually carried out the attack on the battleship is back in the
come out. I'm afraid I do have some bad news. Uh, I have just heard from the flying display director that the typhoon is cancelled this afternoon. It is currently at Blackpool. This has had a number of technical issues, but unfortunately they've had to admit defeat. So the typhoon will not be displaying for us this afternoon.